Good evening. Welcome to day three of our teshuva. So tonight, it'll be another short one. Eventually, they'll get a little longer. But I just want you to think about something. What separates you from God? What separates you from reading his word, from spending time with him, from praising him, from worshiping him, from singing praises, time in prayer, just time with him. What separates you? Is it the busyness of motherhood? I was a mom of five. I understand that. Even if it's five minutes here, five minutes there, you know, he understands what it's like to live in a human body. He understands the demands that we have. Maybe you work too much. I don't know. Or maybe it's neither of those. Maybe we just spend too much time in self-indulging activities. Social media, prime example. Or games, internet games. I don't know, or TV, or I don't know. There's so many distractions in the world. But let me ask you this. What keeps you from God? With Adam, it was shame. You know, in Genesis, when Adam and Eve ate the apple and they, they ate of the tree that they weren't supposed to, the knowledge of good and evil. And they hid because they were ashamed, which they weren't before. So they hid to hide their guilt. So our sin can keep us away. Really? Our guilt can keep us away. Really? Another person can keep us away. Time can keep us away. Busy activities can keep us away. You know, Scripture says that nothing can separate us from the love of God. Nothing. Except for maybe myself and my choice. Like Adam. We can run and we can hide. But... Please remember this. If you think God can never love me, God doesn't want to spend time with me, remember this out of Romans. While you were still a sinner, way back before he ever created you, he knew some of the choices we were going to make. Now nah, he knew them all. While we were still sinners, he loved us. Because it's nothing I can do to gain, his, to gain his grace, his favor, his love, his acceptance. Absolutely nothing. It's like a parent. You know, when, when a mom is carrying a child, some women bond with children while they're carrying them, while they're pregnant. Some don't. No, no problem. But like my father, my earthly father, when you put a child in his arms, that's it. That was his child. And I was forever his. And he loved me and would have done anything for me. And I couldn't do anything. I couldn't talk. I couldn't nothing. I was completely dependent. And I was going to grow up and get a little mouthy and, you know, do my own thing. And he still loved me. Not everybody has a good earthly father. But that's my example. Our Heavenly Father loves much, much, much more than that. And nothing, absolutely nothing can separate you from his love, but your choice. So today, choose to get to know him. Give him a few minutes every day, if you don't already. Get in his word, the Bible, and read about him. Find someone who will explain it to you. Get in the word. Praise him. Spend time talking to him. Prayers talking to him. Try that. That's the first step. Realizing that while I was still a major screw-up, a sinner, doing things my own way, walking contrary to his ways, he loved me. In spite of me, in spite of myself, he loved me. And he wants relationship with you. So let that be the first step. Determine every day to spend time with him. Determine every day 
to get to know him. He speaks to us through his word. We speak to him in praise and prayer and attitude of our heart. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time.